Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about partition versus bucketing. Let us start. We will discuss about what is partitioning, what is bucketing, when you should use partitioning, and when you should use bucketing. So let us start. Assume you have a huge table which contains data about all the people in different countries. So that table has three columns, name, age, location. Now you want to run a query that selects star from a table where location is equal to India. To get the results, we have to go through all the records of the table one by one, filter wherever location is India and then create an output set. Here our data is very huge and we have to go through all the records. This is very troublesome. Can we optimize this? Yes. Think it from this perspective. Suppose you create a partition by on location column. All the records related to India will be in one file. All the records related to UK will be in another file. And all the records related to US will be in another file. Similarly for other countries, they will have their respective files. So whenever you are hitting a query like select star from table where location is equal to India, Spark will skip reading other partitions and it will only read India partition which has only India related data. So our query will have a very good performance and this is going to be very helpful. Now imagine in your where condition you wanted location is equal to India and age is equal to 20 and our partitions has almost 400 MB of data. Assume this. Now performance of my query will reduce a bit because now I have an additional uh, filter criteria. I cannot just pick the whole partition and give it as output. I have to search within India partition. I want to further improve the performance of my query. What should I do? You will say why not use second level of partition. We can try to create a partition on age column and that will probably give us better performance. Think about it. Age column can have 100 different values. So from age 1 to age 100, assume that. So it can have 100 different values. So if we create a second level partition, then we will have 100 different files within each partition. Now our partition size is 400 MB. If I divide this partition into 100 different files, I will get small, small partitions, which will be 4 MB round size. So I will end up creating a small file problem. If you have worked in an enterprise environment, you will definitely know what is a small file problem in Hadoop. It will significantly decrease the performance of your cluster. So my question to you is, what kind of problem you will face when there are a lot of small files in Hadoop? Please write in comment section about your views. Let us get back to our problem. So our problem was that if I create a second level of partition, on each column, then I will end up creating a lot of small files. So I cannot create second level partition. What is the other solution? I can use bucketing here. Let us try to understand bucketing. So I have a table. In partition table, we use distinct values of the column on which we are partitioning to divide the table into different parts. So in case of bucketing, instead of using distinct values of the column, we use hash function. So I will say I want to bucket my table on each column and number of buckets should be 3. Then Spark will divide the table into 3 parts using a hash function. So the records will be divided among these 3 parts. So this will look something like this. Records with age 1 to 33 will be in one file, will 33 to 67 in second file and 68 to 100 will be in third file. So these numbers I have just given for easier understanding. In actual, they will not be in sequence. So let us try to apply this in our use case. So I will bucket my table on each column and for every partition, it will create three buckets and approximately the data will be same in each bucket. So you can see 133 MB around it will be. This will make sure that uh, I am not creating small files and my filter query performance will also be improved. So let me summarize this. You have a huge table and you create a partition on one of the column. If each partition is big enough that it is not creating a small file problem, then you should go ahead with using partition table. But if 
you want to create a partition on a column and uh, you will end up with small small files then you should think about creating bucketed table you should not use partition table there in hive you can create a bucketed table without using partitioning concept spark partitioning concept is slightly different from hive's partitioning concept so that is where there is a difference in bucketing in hive and spark let us try to understand that so i am running this example on spark 3 let me import few things first now i'll create a data frame and i will check the number of partitions for that number of partitions are 8 here for this data frame now let me create a bucketed table for that i have created four buckets in this table great our bucketed table is created let us check metadata for this our bucketed table has four buckets now let us check how many files are created for this bucketed table there should be 32 files so you can see we have partitions total 35 files out of these 35 files three are just metadata files and there are 32 files which contains data so if you see here you can see partition 0000 will have four sub files similarly partition 1 has again four sub files so for each partition spark has created four buckets so we have number of partitions as 8 and number of buckets as 4 so 8 into 4 there are 32 files created let us try to create table with two buckets so in this case also number of partitions are 8 if we check our metadata number of buckets in this table are 2 so ideally i should get 8 into 2 16 files so there are total 19 files out of these 19 files 3 are just metadata and every partition has created two files for bucket bucket 1 and bucket 2 for uh, partition 0 for partition 1 bucket 1 and bucket 2 in hive you can skip creating partition and you can directly create bucketed table and then in that table number of files will be equal to number of buckets one more reason for this is that if in hive you create a bucketed table then hive will make sure that it is shuffling the data in reduce phase and number of reducers is equal to number of buckets that will make sure that uh, number of files that are generated in hive are equal to number of buckets but spark while creating bucketed table doesn't use reduce phase everything is done in map so a partition is further divided into small files so there is no shuffle operation happening there so that's why number of total files will be max equal to number of partition into number of buckets in spark i hope that was clear if you have any doubts on that please feel free to post a message in comment section now the next question so our discussion till now should help you decide that how many buckets should be in your table size of each bucket should be approximately around 128 mb which is the default size of block in hdfs so ideally number of buckets should be equal to size of your data divided by 128 that will give you the right number of buckets that you should have in your table so let us summarize this so partitions help us improve query performance because we will skip reading unwanted data if partitioning a table is creating a lot of small files then you should consider using bucketing there are few differences in way bucketing is implemented in hive and spark but from the concept point of view they are same when you're deciding how many buckets you should have you should consider that each bucket should have approximately 128 mb of data thank you and please subscribe to my channel